This is an object on the floor. As he bends down to pick up that object, someone appears. Here's where the action begins. Later, the same school staff room is seen. The location of the teachers gathering. Here, all of the teachers were debating a matter. As soon as the meeting is finished, they all leave. A teacher is conversing with the principal at the same time. Principal, on the other hand, reminds her that she has left the keys inside. So she goes inside to retrieve her keys. When she is about to leave after picking up the keys, the football coach arrives. He starts misbehaving with the principal and blocks her path. The football coach then asks the principal for a pencil. She presents him with a pencil. The coach then stabs principal's hand with the same pencil. Principal then flees, slamming the keys in his face as he does so. Meanwhile, she is aware that she has been confined to this location by that coach. And the same teacher stood at the door with whom principal had previously conversed. That teacher tells principal, first and foremost, you must deliver the door keys, and principal promptly does so. She also opens the door. And principal appears out of nowhere. She then shuts the door behind her and locks the coach inside. Nobody knows what happened to the teacher in the meanwhile. With a pair of scissors, she assassinates the principal. After then, the story's main character, Casey, appears on the scene. Other Casey buddies are also depicted. Delilah is the name of one of his female pals. And Casey may have had feelings for Delilah. In every case, though, Casey was the loser. Following that, a girl named Mary Beth appears who was this school's and city's newcomer. Also, there is a young man named Zeke, who used to deal the drug while pouring it in a pen. The sight of the staff room reappears later. All of the teachers were conversing with one another. A football coach can also be seen consuming a large amount of water. Then the same instructor who was responsible for the principal's death shows up. She also smiles as she looks at the football coach. It showed that they were working together. Following that, Casey appears, who discovers an unusual insect in the playground. And Casey brings the insect to his teacher in the lab. That insect, however, was no longer alive. Inadvertently, water is poured on that insect. And that insect has been resurrected. That science teacher observes it and throws it into the ocean. That insect is now swimming in the water. That teacher touches it after seeing it. As a result, the insect is split into two pieces. Both portions of the insects are now swimming. When he tries to touch it again, the science teacher bites his finger. Following that, one of Delilah's buddies is seen taking a bath. Following this, his teacher appears out of nowhere, behaving as if he were insane. And she warns him, a great deal of trouble is coming our way. Delilah's friend believes that this teacher has a mental illness. As a result, he embraces that teacher in order to calm her down. Meanwhile, he has a lot of the teacher's hair in his hands. He is afraid as a result of seeing it. And that teacher meets her demise right away. Delilah's buddies and Casey can be viewed here. Who was telling another instructor about that teacher's story. The teacher informs them that the teacher had cancer. She may have died for this reason. When Casey is going to the office where he meets Delilah, he discovers that the football coach is wedding, standing in the playground for a long time. And they begin to converse with one another. They were now wondering that strange things were happening in the school. Coming into the workplace, Casey notices this. There's someone approaching. After that, they both go into a cabinet to hide. The principal's murdering teacher and the football coach were both drinking excessive amounts of water. A school nurse appears out of nowhere and she is apprehended by the football coach. He also spits the same insects out of his mouth, which had been discovered in the lab. And he drops one of the flies inside the nurse's ear. And Delilah, who had seen all, was feared. She screams at this point. When the football coach hears her yelling, he rushes over. And then he opens the cupboard door. Casey and Delilah manage to flee while rescuing themselves in some way. When they are running, principal arrives. Who was the one who had died? She, like the rest of us, was infected. They both flee in terror at the same time. 
As a result of this occurrence, Casey has summoned the police officers. When police officers arrive at school, however, they find everything to be normal. At the same moment, Principal leads one of the police officers to her office. When they step outdoors, Casey remarks, that policeman looks mysterious, it said, that police officer has also been affected by that insect. Casey and his parents then return to their home. Casey's parents chastise him severely when he returns home. Because his parents had been slandered as a result of his error. They also take his phone and confine him to a room. Casey's parents were probably thinking now that he had developed a drug addiction. Casey now wanted to speak with Delilah, who was also an eyewitness. She had been concerned as a result of this. He is now attempting to flee his window in order to meet Delilah. As he exits the room, he discovers his school teacher standing outside. And he collapses as if frightened. Then he realizes there was nothing there. Casey arrives at school the next day. And he runs into Delilah as she enters the school. And he talks about the same thing, despite the fact that the school staff room is visible. While sitting there, all of the teachers drank a lot of water. Because the bug extraterrestrial that had been assimilated into their bodies derived its powers from the water. Following that, it is revealed that Zeke was the drug dealer. And his customers were going there to get drugs from him. Meanwhile, Zeke's teacher approaches him and begins to abuse him. She also says a lot of hurtful things to him. Zeke is fascinated by the teacher's unusual behavior. After that, Casey and Delilah's female companion are shown sitting in a library, discussing the same topic. After that, Casey enters the science lab. They arrive at the exact location where the insect had initially resurrected. However, they are unable to locate the bug. When Zeke and Mary Beth arrived, they were still talking about it. Following that, their science teacher enters the laboratory. And they're all asking their teacher about that insect. The teacher, on the other hand, does not respond to them. Now that Zeke had devalued it, he began to flee the scene. The teacher then intervenes, and he attacks everyone in the room. Then Zeke launches an attack on his teacher. Because of his attack, that teacher's fingers have been severed. Then the fingers on the floor start to move. Crawls like any other insect. And from his fingers, root-like filaments began to emerge. When that teacher tries to put an end to Zeke, he injects his drug into his pupil. And after being injected with that syringe, the teacher perished. They all end up to Zeke's house later. They see Zeke has set up his drug-making laboratory once they arrive. He also places the alien insect in the rat cage at the same time. He then washes it down with water. The insect is then absorbed into the rat's body. It then begins to infect its host's body. Now everyone is aware of the fact that an alien insect can be eradicated with the application of a medicine. Zeke tells his pal, we're all going to have to take drugs here. It's possible that any of us could be infected by that extraterrestrial insect. Except for Delilah, everyone is now taking the medicine. Delilah then flees. It has now been revealed to all that the alien insect has also infested Delilah. Now Casey promises everyone that everything will be fine if we destroy the alien queen. They've all arrived at the school to assassinate Principal. They also ask Principal to take the medication. When Principal refuses to take the medicine, Zeke pulls out his revolver and fires at him. They're all convinced now that they've killed the incorrect individual. Principal, on the other hand, gets awakened out of nowhere and changed into her true self. And Casey and his pals believe she's the queen alien. Everything will be fine at school now. A football coach and his players may be seen on the opposite side. After getting wet in the rain, who was gaining power? And Delilah's friend was there to witness it. After observing it, he informs others of the situation. All of them, however, insist that he take the medicine before entering. Delilah's companion, on the other hand, drops the drug. Now it refers to the fact that he has also been infected by those aliens. Casey, Zeke, and their friends were now extremely concerned. Because they were unable to obtain medications due to a scarcity. Then Zeke informs his friends that he has a large amount of drugs in his car. Zeke and Casey then proceed to the car to take the drugs. Meanwhile, 
they are being attacked by a football coach and his infected team. Casey takes refuge on a bus, but Delilah is also on board. After being rescued, Casey also flees the scene. On the other hand, Zeke didn't find the cocaine in his automobile. He notices his teacher when he closes the trunk of his automobile. Who is it that is attacking him? At the same time, his car is involved in an accident. He also notices that his teacher's chopped head is moving. It is then linked to the teacher's body once more. Zeke flees when he sees it. On the other hand, Mary Beth and her buddy are visible, and Mary Beth adopts her true appearance here. It is revealed here that Mary Beth is the true alien queen. Casey and Delilah's friend are the targets of her wrath. Delilah's friend is dragged into the pool by her. Casey and Delilah's pal, on the other hand, manage to get away in some way. Mary Beth transforms into her true self and begins looking for them. Zeke is also present. But Zeke is stopped by Delilah's pal on his way to Mary Beth. However, Delilah's companion had also become infected as a result of slipping into the pool, and now Zeke had become caught between them. Then Casey comes up behind him to save him. However, Mary Beth renders Zeke unconscious till then. She's starting to pursue Casey now. However, he manages to confine her in a door in some way. In one method, he assaults her with